Hey everyone, Siwa Bowtie here with an episode of Deep Night Detective. Um, this is chapter one um, of I don't know how many chapters so far that I know of, only one. Let me turn it down a little bit for me. And we're gonna start. Um, new game, please. New game. I. Okay, farther Martin Hill Grove, and I still get letters, usually around the same time of year. They stop being intelligible or coherent at some point in the late aughts, right? Is that the right word? Dang, this is gonna kill me because I'm terrible with English. Before they became a thick stew of expletives and promises, they were angry confessions. Funny enough, February 1997, a year before I was born, Father Hell Grove walked into my office, sweating through his cleric collar, put a cassette tape on my desk, and not saying a word for five whole minutes. This is a lot of flavor for just the beginning, but okay. I shouldn't be doing this. The tape was recorded by Hank Boyd in a confessional. This is the last time, Father. The very last time. Oh! Boyd continued in shanky matters. I'll stop. I'm done with it. I just got to do this with one last girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How crazy is this game going to be? Oh no. Not a member of Hill Grove's congregation, but Warren was understandably concerned for her nonetheless. He should have gone directly to the cops. I could only get it to the right people and through the right channels so quickly. I wasn't able to keep Hill Grove a secret, and we didn't make it in time to save her. Wait, what, what the heck is going on? I'm not playing anything. What's going on? Nobody came out of that one happy. I refused the money. Hillgrove was excommunicated. And Boyd regrets apparently very loudly ever having trusted anyone in his whole life. Dang. Oh, dang colors. Oof. Okay, I got so much and so little out of that. I wear a quiet day. Something about the summer heat makes people suspicious, I guess. Because speaky private investigations pull in great business this time of year. A cheating husband job came up totally dry, and the wife is suspicious enough to pay for another week's investigation. It would take a pretty big idiot to turn down an easy job, and even a bigger idiot to waste his time on it. So I sent Halloway to tell the guy. I'm pretty far below his pay grade too, pay grade too but oh well. I sent him not because I don't have the time, but exact because I do. He needs something to do and I need to enjoy a summer's day for once. Besides, I'm not sure only a matter of time before the phone starts ringing again. That or the other thing happens. I'm hoping it's the phone this time. The ever looming idea that such a rude interruption could be right around the corner make me want to get up as much sunlight as possible can as po as I possibly can. Jeez, English. I'm going for a walk. Okay, already very cute. Um, question mark? Oh, okay. Controls are kind of my desk. Okay, so D is to back lamp is automatic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No computer. Father, I do most of my work on the phone. So he's the computer person around here. Okay, so that's jump, which is S. D is to punch. Uh, moving around is to um, arrow keys, and then to click on something is A. So what is W? I've been the most favorable longer than most. These aren't even all my files. I have some in storage. Dang. Um, dang. Streets. Listen to me when you're already dead. I'll see. Also, grow your stay. Some sound like going to do me some good. All right. What's W do? Nothing. You're not gonna say anything about this? Okay, let's head out. Oh, is this Susie? Hey, Susie. House tricks. Slow days, for once, no calls. How are you today, Mr. Spooky? You know what? I'm kind of relishing a quiet day. Is that so? Oh, she smiled. I, li I like these picture art. On a little pic art. Yes, in fact, it is. I think I'm going to go for a walk. Out for a walk. Would you like me to bring you back some lunch? I'm a little strapped right now. No one says that when they're like, they're under money problems. 
because obviously you shouldn't be spending the money. I, you're, whatever. <laughs> it's my treat. Oh, pick me up a <laughs> small cook then. Okay, wow. We'll do. We'll be back in just a bit. Thanks, Mr. Spooky. Oh, case note. Oh gosh, I have. Oh, I'm gonna love this game. And this is just apparently chapter one. Detect dentist offices. Walls are pretty good at keeping out the drill sound. The screaming, not so much. Oh my gosh. Therapist's office. Or some guy with a PhD. I don't know. <laughs> Advanced service technician with solutions. Gosh, why are these guys right next to each other? I think it's called center. I mean, bathroom. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another place. That's, that's really good. Some company that works with computers. I asked seriously about them. She doesn't know them. Hmm. I go for her for computer stuff. I don't understand it all. At all. <clears throat> I didn't mean to jump. I know it's a therapist. Great guy. Helped me out a lot after I died. <laughs> that, that's great. Okay. I should check in with him. <laughs> uh oh. No. Not again. Dang it. And yes, I'm not saying naughty words. Okay, this is trippy. <laughs> well, this is a... I guess pisser's okay. Pisser. I'm being summoned against my will. I at least hope it's a paying client this time. Oh, this is the other thing besides the phone call. This is this is so cool. Flop. Oh, okay. I didn't see myself over there. Oh. Hey. Uh, should have had it right in front. Hey. Well, I assume you were just summoned as usual. If you're going back, I am. Hang up your coat on the... I, I did. You can treat them on the other side. So, well, thanks. I've already done so. Thank you. I gotta jump. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, gosh. It's quiet. It seems to be some kind of dusty shack. Like an old backyard shed, but bigger and without gardening supplies. Okay. I, Mr. Spooky, is it? Edward Manham? Man. Can I s please? English. Work brain. Work with words. A raspy voice calls out from behind me. A butler, it appears. <laughs> he must be the one who summoned me. I take one last contemplative, silent look around to make sure I'm not in another danger. Not in any danger before I give the guy the time of day. The same. How can I help you? Name is Edward Manhelm. Helm. Manhelm. I'm a servant of Winterfield Manor and of the owners, June and July Abernathy. Abernathy. Gosh, okay. At this time, I'm just gonna call them the Abes. Because, <laughs> why not? I'm afraid we're in need of a private assistance. He said in a practice well in a well a growl whatever whatever that word is um, his voice is tr charred and gravelly but well spoken and easy to understand like an expensive organ with rusty pipes do you have a phone I need to call my secretary but of course the phone is in the main house we will discuss the details of your potential employment inside. I like that. Potential employment. It means I'm allowed to decline and that they plan to pay me. Good. It also means that it also means he's not one of those kids who thinks that the high price of my summoning in the old book refers to their soul or something. Like they can pay me in the magic money that comes from inside you. <laughs> I like this. I'm already here. Might as well hear them out. Lead the way, Manhelm. Right this way, sir. Okay, jump. Cool. Let's go this way. Right? Wait one second, Edward, before we go inside. I, I did the butler's voice instead of spooky. I stopped him from walking any farther. He tells me Manhelm is fine in the view of, Ed in the view of Edward. What? What's the general gist of what's going on here? I want it from you first before I hear it from anyone else. Manhelm's spells doesn't change. 
the butlers are never that expressive. We believe, Mr. Speedy, that the house may be haunted. Lots of houses are haunted in Manhattan. Most of them, in fact, only houses I know that's not haunted is mine, which is arguably seeing as I live there. I was about to say, isn't he a ghost? Why are you sending a ghost to fight all the ghosts? The police have traced several disappearances to Whitefield Manor. We would very much appreciate if you could investigate the manor before the police made a mess of things. July Abes believes the cause to be specular in nature. That's his first guess, huh? That may well be the case. Do not respond. Oh, oh, I gotta choose. Oh, God. I kind of don't want to respond because I want to see what else he has. I hope to answer your questions regarding the well general gist of the situation. Mr. Abes is curious to see if you can deny or confirm his suspicions regarding the strange nature of the household. Hmm. I respond perhaps somewhat short in my approach. Quick question. What, what if he's wrong? What if it's not ghosts making people disappear? I cannot begin to speak on his behalf on the subject, Mr. Spooky. It is, if he decides to return soon, you may speak to him about it then. It seems to be Manham's last words on the situation before he leaves and turns back toward the house. Are there ghosts here? Yes, obviously. I can feel them from out here. But are these same ghosts the answers to Abe's problems? Probably not. Let's hope so, for their sake. I mean, that is true also, because... If it's not the ghost causing the disappearance, then it's something else. Okay, I like... I, I'm getting a feel for the mechanics. Deep Knight Detective. Book 1, Sympathy for the Devil. Huh. Okay, so, oh my gosh, there's so many notes. I gotta figure out how to, like, pause and stuff on. I should've... I didn't see if I like accidentally clicked something, sorry. I'll give you all the irrelevant information I have, Mr. Spooky. How about some irrelevant information? With respect, Mr. Spooky, you are a member of the private sector. I should hope not to in insist I refrain upon my employees' privacy. Fine. So what you're going to give me is essentially the police told you people have disappeared here. That's not a lot to go on. You are also free to investigate the home within reasonable limitations. Uh, I'm going to find loopholes. If you believe that's not enough to justify your time, I may do. Thanks anyway, Manhelm. I pray that you not take it too personally. No sweat. Where's Sympathetico? That takes a... I'll take a look around. What? Okay, hold on. Yup. Oh. Um, okay, that's how to undress. I guess that's how to go... Wait, can I? Okay, I want to. How do I pause? Because I kind of want to pause it here, but I also want to see like my notes, because I feel like that's going to be important. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll figure it out, I guess. But with that, um, it's been already like 15 minutes. If you guys want to continue seeing this, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe so you guys get updates and it also helps me know that you guys want to see more. Um, obviously this is just chapter one, so probably not going to see much of it, but we will see. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed so far and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!